So Laboratorio Olfativo is a brand that both Kara and I don't know much about, but I did get to meet the owner of the brand in Milan at the Exenze uh, perfume uh, show, and I was able to get the sample set of their entire collection, or at least I think it's their entire collection. There's 15 samples in there. Mm -hmm. And Kara and I are going to do first impressions because neither of us have smelled any of them. And one lucky subscriber is also going to have a chance to win 15 samples similar to this box uh, coming right up. So much for doing this video with me. Are you familiar with the Laboratorio Olfativo? No, but I really like this design. The packaging is Clean, awesome, right? Pretty, yeah. Yeah, so, I'm excited. This so shall we start stuff. smelling them? Let's do it. I'm very excited about these fragrances because I don't see them at Lucky Scent. I think the only place that sells them currently is in Min in New York. So I think that's kind of why I haven't really sampled these, mm -hmm. but I've always been very curious. And one of the reasons I've been curious is that I think Cecile Zerokian, the perfumer, has created several of these. So mm. I'm, I'm very curious to try. So should we open it up? Let's open it up. Okay. All right. You do the honors. Fun, beautiful patch. It is. And I've had this for three months and I haven't opened it yet. Oh, so. you're so good. <laughs> All right, so. Boop. Wow. Wow. We have a little a booklet. A lovely booklet in here. Oh, nice. Apparently it's in layers. Oh, wow. Oh, how cool is that? That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, one lucky subscriber is going to win this exact box. Mm -hmm. So which one do we have? Neurotic. Neurotic? What if that means, <laughs> if that's a play on Neroli and Neurotic. All right, let me pull up their information here. Okay, so Neurotic is considered a woody aromatic. And the perfumer is Cecile Zerokian. And we've got woody notes, amber, saffron, leather, berries of some kind, I think. Mm, red, red fruits. fruits. Um, and then we've got sandalwood, um, we've got grapefruit, uh, bergamot, and uh, we've got smoke. Sounds like a really interesting mix of fresh and woody smoky. Are you familiar with Cecile Zerokian? Not at all. She did four Jacques Foth fragrances, and I interviewed her at Exenze. It's kind of why I was curious. Uh, Plus, she's also Armenian like me, so. This is very interesting. Smoky. Ambery, too. Mm -hmm. Saffron is there. Mm -hmm. But a little kind of dark, but it's not like, it's almost like it's going dark, but it's like a little on the soft. It's very ambery to me. I'm not quite getting the the red fruits yet, or really much citrus at all. Well, actually, it's all ambery and smoky, but it's actually brightened up with all the fruity notes. Hmm. Perhaps the fruity, because I get the- Some leather. Yeah, the leather is there. This is really nice. No, I like this one. I would never guess if this had citrus in it. The citrus notes are, like I said, the grapefruit and uh, bergamot at the top with the red fruits. But really beautiful. I would wear this one. Yeah, it's just super good. It's like those people that want to smell the smoke, but they're turned off by too much smoke. And this is... Or heaviness. This heaviness. is not heavy at all. No. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we had one that we've done, and here's the rest of them. And I'm going to let you do the honors because I can't <laughs> see what the names are. Because you're not wearing your glasses. I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> Tee. Okay. <laughs> Alambar. Alambar. Okay, let's go back. I like the name of Alambar. Yeah, it sounds so cool. So it's considered a sh uh, oriental. Mm -hmm. See, I can't read. Amber. <laughs> so we've got amber. Warm, spicy. Um, cinnamon, vanilla, cacao, and bergamot. So the nose is Enrico Buchella. Buchella. I'm looking forward to this one. I love cacao. Oh my goodness. Wow. Alambar. Yum. Cinnamon. I would call this a gourmand. Yeah, I think so. Oriental gourmand, yeah. Totally. Wow, it's really nice. I like this. It's spicy and not too sweet, but definitely on the, you know, tasty spectrum. I think this is like a gourmand for the ones that are on a diet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very, it's very light gourmand, mm -hmm. but really big. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. So that's Alambar. 
It's very satisfying. I don't know who Enrico Bocella is though. But is this it? is really good. I mean, yeah, I like it. Like early fall. It reminds me of like early. Oh fall. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And re really, I really love the bottles. Uh, if you've seen their bottles, uh, the look of their bottles are just beautiful. Just simple, simple clean. Clean, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. So, Alan Bar. Alchemy. Alchemy? All right, let me pull up Alchemy. Oriental Woody. This is. It's interesting. Uh, uh, these are like, they're not unisex, but I feel like they kind of are unisex. They're not like, they don't say that they're unisex. Hmm. So this is Maria, Marie Duchenne, the nose. Ooh. So we've got vanilla a little bit. Yeah. Ylang Ylang, amber, patchouli, cedar, cedar. Uh, woody vanilla, smoke, resins. Maybe it's a myrrh. I think myrrh note. Um, yep, it's myrrh. And then we've got vanilla, myrrh, musk, myrrh, myrrh, and sandalwood. <laughs> This is nice. Yeah. It's not as it's not as nice as the previous one, but that's just my opinion. I like the previous one a little better. It's more. I feel like it's more my style. This is one. this one. This one's not. This is yeah. This one is. The amber is. Is very powdery. Yeah. In my opinion. I think. I really like it. Yeah. Like this is a great fragrance. Amber and vanilla, you really just kind of can't go wrong. I was wrong, it's not musk. There's cashmere wood in the base. I thought it was musk, but I'm, like I said, I'm blind, so I can't woody. see. Yeah, so cashmere woody. wood. So it's woody. Woody. Okay, so that's right. alchemy. Cozumel. Ooh, the island in yeah. Mexico. I've always wanted to go there, and I, when I went to Cancun, <laughs> reminds me of like get to go. blue waters. So this is an aromatic fougere. At the top, we've got oh bergamot. We've got. Mm, You're gonna like this. We've got. Um, I can't tell what that is. It looks like a mint. We've got green notes. We've got basil. Yes. And uh, we've got um, cannabis. Yeah, cannabis. Ah. We've got seaweed. What is that? Clary, Clary sage. sage. God, I'm drawing a blank here. And then we've got um, cedar, white smoke. tobacco. What's white tobacco? Not sure. Amber, sandalwood, cedar, incense, and tonka bean. You know, having smelled just these few, I'm really fond of of the DNA of this house. I like There's, this. It's yeah. I think I'm gonna try to think of like some recommendation. Like if. I totally feel like there's, uh, if you like this, you'll like this. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's nice. It's not as strong as the previous ones. Mm -hmm. And I'm picking up more sandalwood than anything else. I don't know. It just reminds, it feels really, uh, you know, like a whole, I don't know. A complete? Complete. Like it feels uh, like a unified. Unified, yeah. It's really nice. And this one, um, Cozumel, definitely get some, some bright citrus in there. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I like I this one. I thought you would like this yeah, one. Yeah, I like this one. Dimeris. Dimeris. These are alphabetical. Yeah. <laughs> Dimeris sounds Greek to me. So this it is does. Oriental Spicy. Ooh, this is my kind of fragrance. This is Pierre Ooh. Guillaume did it. Really? Wow. Isn't that your friend? My friend, I met him. <laughs> so this is saffron. There's cardamom, iris, rum. Oh, wow. um, yeah. What's this note? B is it a bitter almond? Sweet, Sweet notes, musk and amber. This is really good. This is really good. This is my. This is really interesting. But the powder and the sweet notes and the boozy notes, kind of the iris powder. Wow. But it's different. It's very like you could say like, oh, it's an iris sweet boozy powder, and people would think of a certain thing and Ooh, this is, like this this is not that it's different it's a cold you know how sweets can mm -hmm. be warm mm -hmm. this is a cold sweet if that makes sense it totally makes sense yeah it's not icy cold but just a chilled chilled cold i like this one so this is um da what is this one called again dimeris dimeris and i'm surprised pierre guillaume did this one because he's got his own line this was launched in 
doesn't say. 2010. It's really nice. Yeah, it's Dimeris, unexpected. Dimeris is my favorite out of the line so far. So do we have Decuvee? Is that how you say it? I think it's Decu Decuver, right? Decuver, yeah, Decuver. Like Ver for green? Vert? Yes. But that's not what I have right now. Uh oh. Where is it? Here it is. I got it. Decuvert. Okay, so this was launched in 2012. This is a floral green fragrance. And what we've got is Lily, Lily of, of the, the Valley, Valley, green or water notes, green notes, magnolia, um, mm -hmm. of, uh, li uh, lilac, jasmine. Very florally. Is it jasmine or is it tuberose? Hyacinth, I think. It's jasmine. Is there a hyacinth or is that wisteria? Oh, uh, which one? The purple thing. Oh, I think that was lilac. Oh. Lilac. And then we got watery notes, musk and folk moss. You know, I actually, I really like this. You know, it's it's not, so it's fresh not and really, green. It's not normally the type of thing that I would wear. Wow. But it's so pretty. This is actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> so this like, is David, uh, what's his name? Marut. Marut? David Marut. I've never Marut. heard of him before, but I really like this. It's really nice. It's, it's very, very fresh green. and green. Wow. I'm surprised at this one. Decouvert. All of these have been like sweet, but not too oh my sweet. Oh god. I actually want a bottle of this, this one right really away. This is really good. <laughs> this is really, it's not, really good. It's wow. Like a, it's like a... It's not quite aquatic. And I don't like but aquatic But it's damp. Things. Yeah, no, neither do I, but this is really nice. Oh my god. And I think recently I've been really falling in love with lilac. Lilac's amazing. And there's lilac in here, but it's like a green lilac because it's... You got that lilac, but it's like taken over by the green notes. Really love Decouvert, I think. Definitely bottle worthy for me with my love for fresh scents. Now that San Francisco has gotten hotter and humider, so I'm craving the fresh. Thanks, green, climate change. I am like expanding my, <laughs> my perfume. But I think it's also the, the lilac and the magnolia in there. I love magnolia. This smells like youth. It's just really it's, nice. it's really young, but it's also yeah. no, but in a good way. Like in a, in a good way. Yeah. So on here we have. Esvedra. Esvedra. I like that name. And this is considered a woody aromatic. And this is also Pierre Guillaume. Wow. Maybe they're friends. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of reminding me of imaginary authors. What, mosaic? No. Which one? The lemon in here is reminding me. I have to read the notes. This is... Um, uh, the lemon in here is reminding me of imaginary authors. So it's vetiver. Um, I like this. Vetiver, pedigrain, musk. Um, what's this? Cardamom, mm -hmm. coriander, coriander, and then we have lemon. And the lemon in here is reminding me of the lemon in Cobra and the Canary. Oh, that's right. But this is a complete different. But the pedigrain different... like reminds me of. Mosaic. Oh my god, I want this too. <laughs> As Vedra, this one it's is really good. 2011. Wow. No, I like this one. That's super good. Mm. Okay. Okay. Nirmal. I had a friend called Nirmal Paul. Nirmal? Yeah. Wait, where's that? Nirmal. Okay. Yeah. We skipped Cash Noir? We're not, I guess we're like going out of order, order now. Order. Okay. I'm just like, I'm going across okay. and everything. Right. That's fine. Yeah. So Nirmal is Nirmal. a oriental floral. And we've got at the top carrot note. Also, Nirmal is the name of the Garfield's nephew that he hates. Oh. This is the very attractive kitten called Nirmal. It's spelled differently, but huh. you know Garfield. Yeah, I know Garfield. Nirmal. <laughs> Nirmal is the great kitten. He's like, I'm so cute. <laughs> so carrot at the top, iris and violet, amber, sweet notes, and um, a cedar. Very unique. Very unique. The carrot note is interesting. I love mm -hmm. carrot note to begin so with do I. fragrances. Sometimes it just adds a certain. It does. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> je ne sais quoi. I like this. I mean, I don't Sorry. love it as much as the other ones, but I like it. It's very unique. This is so wearable. And the nose is. I can't read the nose. Rosine Courage. I don't know who that is. Rosine Courage. But what a wonderful name. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, interesting scent. Right. What's next? 
Noblige. Noblige. Let me pull that. These are great, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I like love the really, palettes. really good. So Noblige is a floral, and it's Marie Duchenne again. At the top, we've got bergamot and lemon. Well, some notes I'm not familiar with. Ambrette at the mid. Like the ambrette. Leven lavender. We've got um, Definitely iris. Nice. And is it neroli? Yes, neroli. Mm -hmm. Then this we've got like vanilla, tonka bean, and musk. Citrus bomb. Wow. Where are the other notes? Probably in there somewhere. The powdery is coming through from the iris. Wow. It's very, it's like, it's like a citrus lemon bomb. creamy, right? Yeah. But bergamot too, so it, yeah. Interesting. No, I think it's like a lemon chiffon cake or something. Yes. You know when you make the cake and you've put too much lemon um, essence in there? <laughs> That's what it is. It's mm -hmm. lovely. I love it lemons. It's very nice. Wow, and it's sweet. The lavender. The vanilla kind of is good. Yeah, this is interesting, but mm -hmm. I like it. Marie Duchenne. That's a gourmand. All right. I mean, it's not technically according to like some people's uh, categorization, but I feel like that's very. It's very it is, sweet it, foodie. Yeah, it is foodie. Mm -hmm. We've got Rosamunda. Oh, okay. Not to be confused with the sausage grill. No. In Lower Haight. <laughs> because if there was a perfume that smelled like that, it would be really bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> just, Rosa nobody Munda. wants to smell like a sausage. So this is a sheep oriental floral. Mm. Um, saffron, rose, more oh. rose in the mid notes, more rose in the mid notes than patchouli. It must be different kinds of roses. Yeah, it must be different kinds of... And, mm. then, and then what we've got is... A bunch oud, of woods. Oud, sandalwood, amber, musk, and cedar. This is nice. Ooh. I love this. Mm -hmm. It's rose. There's a leathery touch too. Yeah. Is that from the saffron? Probably. Wow, this is good. So what kind of roses? We got at the top we've got regular rose. It just says rose. In the mids we've got Bulgarian, Bulgarian rose. And probably like And yeah, then Turkish. Turkish rose. And this oh, is Marie this is so nice. Mm, me being the rose lover, I love this one. Mm -hmm. This is my second favorite. I already have a fragrance called Rosa Mundi, but it's two different words from Profum and Roma. Well, this one is Rosa Munda. Rosa Munda, okay. Both Italian brands. Mm -hmm. Olfativo, Sorry. Laboratorio Olfativo is based out of um, Tur Turin, Torino. Like and Luca Turin. Like Luca Turin, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand anybody who doesn't like rose. I think rose is it's it's just so a universal amazing. flower. It's wonderful. Man, but you know what? I walk by a bunch of roses on my way to work, and sometimes there's literally huge spiders oh. sitting inside. <laughs> Blossoms. Awesome. They must like rose too. They're probably, oh, they're totally into it. They're totally into living. What's next? Selena. Selena. Wow, we're back up in the alphabet again. <laughs> so Selena is not Selena. Wait, I don't even see that. In, is Go it down. with an S? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's S. So Selena is an aromatic. Ooh, we've got. Um, Okay, we've got lemon, we've got, wow. Oh, Calum. I think it's Calum. Right? I'm picking the yeah. pine needles, lemon. We've got uh, sea salt. Okay, this is not my cup of tea. Um, we've got I mean, Selena, sand. Does, doesn't that refer to salt? Salt, yeah. maybe. So sand, uh, myrtle. Myrtle. I love that word. Sand. Myrtle. Then we've got uh, I mean, this is really notes. interesting. It, you can definitely... Smell the calum, but we've got lavender, and then finally in the base we've got um, vanilla, tonka bean, cedar, and this musk. is something I would totally want to smell on my skin. I don't care for this one. It's it's interesting though. I mean, yeah. I feel like on the paper it's really calony, but probably different on on the skin, right? Yeah, it's definitely beachy. Well, yeah, when you look at the photos on a Fragrantica, it's like sea salt and sand and yeah but it's a, mm -mm. i'm not willing to give this one a pass <laughs> i think i think i could like this one you could mm -hmm. okay it's because it's really different it's it's like so salty it's not like calum like the strange interesting plantiness that's in calum it's like the salt mm. it's nice so next up cache noir cache noir so cashmere 
is considered an oriental woody. We've got lemon, bergamot, lavender at the top, coriander, rose, and uh, is Sandalwood. it? Nori it's an orange blossom. And yeah, then sandalwood. we've got, um, I don't see sandalwood. No. We've got patchouli, we've got some kind of a resin, benzoin. So patchouli, benzoin, heliotrope, and vanilla. Ooh, Re really resiny. Like the resin is huge. Or actually, it's the benzoin. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting a whole lot of resin. For me, this is just like powdery citrus. Hmm. Well, the heliotrope is very powdery. Is that what it is? But I'm not sure about the benzoin. When, like when when do you use like benzoin rather than tonka and vanilla? Do you know like what I mean? They're they're similar. Do you happen to know anything about benzoin? Is more of a resin, I think. Is it? But it's sweet, right? It is very vanillic. Mm. But tonka bean is more like an almond, but it's not really an almond. I mean, it's like its own creature or its own thing. Mm. But it smells like almonds. But I thought heliotrope also smells like onions. Uh, onions. I that thought, would be really bad. <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought heliotrope also smelled like almonds. Um, hmm. I like this one. I don't love it. It's not my favorite. This one is Cecile Zorokian again. I mean, I don't hate it. She's very talented, but it's not my favorite. All right. Next. What's next? Patchouli Fool, which is a cute name. Patchouli Fool. Patchouli Fool. I like to be full of patchouli. Me too. Well, this is a, it says on Fragrantica, woody floral musk. So at the top we've got mm. bergamot, cinnamon, and uh, cloves, which I love. Then we've got um, patchouli, and what's this flower? Frangipani, Frangipani and iris. Mm. And then we've got cedar, musk, and uh, labdanum. And this is also Cecile Zorokian. Oh, I love this. It's pretty good. It smells like a praline or something. Like a chocolate oh, praline. a little bit, yeah. Wow. Wow, I think it's the frangipani it has this like creamy texture or like creamy. This one's really nice. It's very sweet, it's nice. It's a, yeah, it's like a really palatable patchouli. Wow. Smooth. Yeah, that patchouli yeah. is not over the top. It's mm -hmm. like very creamy. Oh my God. Patchouli full. I think I might, so need, nice. I might need a bottle of this one. Noon. How do you spell that? Like none. Oh. N U N. Wow, this one smells like Catholic. I don't sense. see that. Oh, N U N. Here it is. Okay, this one doesn't have a style, it doesn't say. It's Luca Maffei, who I met at the um, conference in Milan. Mm -hmm. So we've got lemon, bergamot, Ooh, beautiful. pear, oh my god, neroli. We've got lily, white, white lotus, white lotus, jasmine, ylang ylang, um, woody notes, amber, and musk. I really like. I love the pear. It has a watery quality, and I think mm -hmm. pears have a watery quality. They do. But it's not like aquatic or anything. Mm -mm. I like it. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty. It's springy. It's very springy, of course, definitely. And it's actually perfect for summer, I think. It's happy. It's very happy. It's very happy. For very happy. Noon. I wonder what it's Noon. called. Noon. <laughs> Noon. God. In other words, the god Nun, the ancient Egyptian, meant the primordial water. Huh. Interesting. Wow. Great That's story. great. It really, yeah. Nun. You definitely get that. And what's la what the last one is? We've got our last one. Milo? Milo? I've been wanting to smell that one. So here oh, it is. Oh, my Milo. Okay. So Milo is, doesn't say what kind of a fragrance it is. It's Luca Maffei again, and we've got um, a lot of citrus. We've got bergamot. We've got wait, is it bergamot or lime? Yeah, it's bergamot. We've got lemon. We've got mandarin orange. We've got red pink fruit. pepper. Oh, is it red fruit? It's pink, pink pepper. 
And then we've got Lily, mm -hmm. we've got Jasmine, we've got Iris, Rose, Amber, Vanilla, uh, Benzoin, and Musk. This is really good. Wow. This is really nice. Wow, this is really good. So four stood out for me out of these. Yeah. Four. Yeah. And this one's, I think, the last one that I like, Milo. That's great. Yeah, I love the use of pink pepper hair. Wow. It's really good. Oh, I really so like this one. So we liked Esvedra. Esvedra. Découvert. Découvert. What came out? The patchouli full. The patchouli full. And this one. Yeah, this is and really I like nice. Noon. Noon's nice. Really good vine. Really nice collection. To me, they have a little more of an indie edge to them. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Totally. I mean, it's definitely yeah. niche, but you know, it's got like a little more of a indie style. Like some of the stuff I'm used really to. Really unique. Used to with the perfumers mm -hmm. here in San Francisco, the indie perfumers. Mm -hmm. So, which is a good thing actually. The other cool thing is these fragrances are not that expensive. So it's for a hundred mil, you're paying anywhere between 140 to 160 dollars. Not too bad. And for a niche brand, that's pretty awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. Um, so if you wanted to find out more information, I'll have information in the info box below. You can go to the Laboratorial Fativo website or you can search for them on Min's website and they are sold there for 140 to 160. Well, thanks so much for going over these great fragrances by Laboratorial Fativo. Mm -hmm. So guys, we're going to do a giveaway uh, as mentioned. One winner will win a... Oh. One... <laughs> One winner will win a kit that comes in a box like this. Discovery set. As you can see, the, the name is both sides. Mm -hmm. And on the back, you have the names. And what milliliters are these little atomizers? I believe if these look like five or seven. Is it a three mil? It's a three mil. It's a three mil. So these are three mils, and you get 15 samples. Three mil samples, that's awesome. So all, really all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel, put a comment down as to why you want to win this kit. Also mention which two fragrances sounds the best for you and put down your state. This is only open to USA residents. If you wanna find out more information about this brand, I'll have a link. You can buy them at Min. Let's get a conversation started also as to what you think about this brand. Have you tried them? Have you not tried them? And we'll get that going. Also, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Like this video, please share it, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. Flash the white oh. box. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So a Laboratorio Olfativo is a brand that I'm not too familiar with, and so this Kara doesn't know either. Wait, I'll say it again. <laughs> uh, so this Kara doesn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> it's good.